Hello ladies and gentlemen, so today I'm going to teach y'all how to make an MOC out of these two um, things that I got from DIY. One of them is a helicopter and the other thing is a sort of, I don't know, it's meant to be an osprey I think. So here we go, it's all in pieces and let's begin. So you like the new setup? Uh, it's kind of junk but still. So first of all, you need this little tree block thingy. And my phone nearly fell over. I'm gonna put the four, two by two onto the three by two. And then put the one by four right underneath. And then get this glass up and press down. What do you think of this new setup? Leave a, leave a like and a comment below. Maybe subscribe. Let me know how this goes it's a close-up of my hands uh, I'm trying this new setup up also using OBS which there's this new system that I'll release a tutorial for in the next few days I'm still learning to use it and this tutorial was a part of my own tutorial on how to use that particular system so video ninja google it if you want that right there is the tail and um, it's the stick that you use to stick the tail to the rear end of the plane and you use the little stud pin thingy insert it to the back of the tricopter and hopefully it goes well Make sure it's sticking properly before you add the 2x4 horizontally. Make sure you press well and avoid making the tailpiece fall off. This is a flat 1x2. Put it around the back. And yes, I am aware that my fingernails are quite long. I mean, I do prefer them. Uh, that way personally that way I have some form of protection where, when I smash my fingers against something also do note that those rotational rotational thingies are 90 degrees these sloped pieces sloped one by two pieces are going on like that you've successfully built the engines for the left side and now we're making the right side engines and platform for the tilt rotor that's the ball joint as usual make sure it is twisted 90 degrees before you continue and put on i'm putting on the rear no i'm putting on the side also this is recorded in voiceover it's not a live commentary as i usually do something new that i'm trying do you like it and that's the rear of the engine going on now you have the front body and chassis now we're going to make the mount mounting pods points for the rotor put the one by two with a hole in it down on that side grab yourself one of these gray pins from the bootleg osprey make sure you put the gray pins into the block before you put the propeller onto the gray pin this will make sh oh wait a second i'm undoing myself never mind make sure you put the gray make sure you put the propeller the with the button side down and attach the propeller to the pin before you insert the propeller into the engine block i don't know the one by two this will make sure that it spins freely like that and now you can see that the ball joint's working repeat the process remember when you after you attach this you have to make sure that you put the pin into the propeller first and when you're putting in the propeller make sure that you're putting it um, pins 
the button side up. You can see a little button. Make sure it's up when you put the pin in and eventually when you put it on the plane, the top side of the propeller should be flat without the button. And you can see it spins freely, that's good. Nice. So you have the basic chassis and the engines attached now. And I'm gonna give everything a nice solid press. Next, we're going to make the landing gear. This is the skid. And this is the holder for the skid. Attach these two together, like so. And you should hear a click. Make sure that it's roughly 90 degrees. Uh, you don't have to be too accurate about it. And grab this one by two piece of stick attached to it. And make sure that it's attached very firmly, like that. After that, repeat this for the skid on the other side. Now I'm just watching my old myself off what I believe is last night slowly put lego bits together it's kind of odd watching myself in hindsight this is not something i usually do and sometimes if you watch yourself in hindsight too much you can end up well you can end up overthinking about a lot of things you know when you ruminate on the past but never mind make out that puzzle now these things are um, I don't know. I don't know what to call these things. Just attach the black pins from the helicopter onto these little arm grabber green thingies and put them on the end of the 1x2 with a stick. So these are your helicopter, your tricopter's cannons. Now you attach them to the bottom of the tricopter at the back side of the 2 by 3 piece make sure everything is stuck together nicely as you can see I'm having some issues sticking it together mm, hopefully this doesn't happen to you once you've gotten them aligned press them together nicely and angle the cannons upwards so your tricopter can actually land realign the tail that you dislodged a few seconds ago now it's time to build the rear propeller mount so this is a three-piece thingy that comes from the bootleg Osprey. Now what you want to do is grab this circular piece, slam it onto the top of the little four by ding dong, little one by one with everything on the sides. You know, for aesthetic sake, make sure that the holes on the side and the ridges are aligned. Press very tightly. And now proceed with the propeller. Remember that the pin has to go into the propeller first. And when you're inserting the pin into the propeller, make sure that the pin goes in on the side with the button and that the flat smooth surface is on the top or on the top of the copter. Now press in hard, as hard as you can. You can see I'm having some issues pressing in. Make sure it spins freely because ideally that's what you want with a tricopter. Now this is the rear landing gear. Stick it on the bottom so that your tricopter doesn't crash when the pilot goes in a little tail heavy. And there's a stick on the bottom to prevent it from whacking the main rotor. And I have to give everything a good squeeze. After that, there's the rear signal lamp for aerodynamic purposes. And finally, you have this one transparent piece. That is a side wind deflector or something. I don't know. I haven't had Canon a function for this piece yet. I suppose it's a guard for the turbine that's dri driving the third rotor at the back. Uh, yes, this thing has three or four turbines in my head cannon, but never mind. Attach the rear to the stick poking out. Make sure all three rotors spin freely 
and there you have it there is your finished tricopter total cost for ringgit buy from diy now diy please notice me and sponsor me videos i really like your toys don't forget to like and subscribe